Uh, my name is Jonathan Hafmans. I am a local chef from Picard and we use um, local fish like dog fish a lot. It's a delicious product. So in the last four years I switched, I had to switch um, from local codfish to like monkfish or dogfish. There's so many things to do with dogfish, but people don't know yet. We know that we can fish for dogfish for a very long time. There's no more cod on Cape Cod. So today we are at UMass Boston, where we're bringing people who are looking to put healthy, wild-caught, sustainable, delicious seafood on their clients' plates, and today we're offering dogfish for those people. Enjoy. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. That's messy. But it's worth it. That was really good. Another convert. <laughs> so here we have a Thai inspired dogfish. It's with chili and citrus. A little bit mint inside and a mango and green apple salsa. Yeah, that looks beautiful. But I know I still have too much there's so much dogfish. So it seems like why couldn't this just take the same road as the you know, Patagonian toothfish turned Chilean sea bass. We'll take dogfish and make a cape shark and look at how beautiful it looks. Plated just ordered a bunch of dogfish for their meal delivery service all over the country. And then on the university side, we've, yeah, we've had a lot of success. Even in restaurants, like nice restaurants in New York, you get like dogfish tacos on a lot of, a lot of menus. That's fantastic. Yeah. I think we're turning a corner. Dogfish has not and will not replace cod on the center of the plate, but it has replaced cod in the ecosystem, and so we need to do something about that. This is wild caught, sustainable, American seafood, and we should be eating it. Cape, shark, and dogfish is a way for the future.